Is life a dream? This age-old philosophical puzzle is more than an idle question. One of the strange things about dreams is that most of the time, we aren't aware we're dreaming. Typically, our memory and our reflective ability are substantially limited within dreams, causing us not to notice incongruence within the dream, and to take for granted that what we experience is real. It simply doesn't occur to us to consider whether it might not be. Perhaps even more strangely, even when we do on occasion become aware that we are dreaming, and according to various surveys carried out around the world, Anywhere from 26% to 92% of people have had at least one lucid dream. The sensory experiences of the dream can remain just as convincingly real. The ability of the dream world to appear real has led many thinkers, philosopher to wonder whether the world we experience while awake might itself be a dream. If the dream world feels just as real as the waking one, at least while we are in it, how can we know for sure that we're not currently living in a dream, a dream from which we may one day wake up? Most of us have seen Matrix movie where, Morpheus asks Neo, have you ever had a dream, that you were so sure was real? What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? In fact, physics teaches us that the objects we experience as being solid are actually made up almost entirely of empty space. And the results of quantum mechanical experiments indicate that, under certain conditions, the building blocks of matter do not behave as discrete particles at all, but rather as waves of probability. If we nevertheless experience the world as full of enduring, solid objects, this is due to the usual way that our senses interact with it and to the way these interactions are represented in consciousness. This means that there is, in fact, an important sense in which all of us do constantly live within a dream, that is, within a world created by our own minds. It's just that when we're awake, our minds conform our dreaming to a reliable set of patterns, which we assume to be determined by a reality that exists independently of our experience of it though we have no way of knowing that reality except through the complex ways in which it affects our dream. But might there be an even deeper sense in which our waking life is a dream, just as we often wake from sleep to realize that what we were experiencing in the sleep state was not nearly as coherent and real as what we experience when awake, could there possibly come a day when we will emerge from the dream of waking reality to experience a world that is even more coherent and vividly real, a state in which we experience levels of knowledge, memory, and other cognitive function that vastly surpass those we experience in our current lives. In fact, a rather startling number of people report having already had experiences like this. That is, they report having had experiences that appear to them as even more real than those they have in their normal waking state of mind. For example, realer than real is a description often used by those who have had near-death experiences, those who have used psychedelic drugs such as DMT, and those who, by various other means, have experienced non-ordinary states of consciousness. Many near-death experiencers also report enhanced cognitive function and a sudden increase in knowledge. This perception of enhanced cognitive function and increased knowledge is often dismissed as an illusion by those who are unfamiliar with the scientific literature on near-death experiences, but careful investigation has shown that concrete, verifiable information has been obtained in these states which were not available to the experiencer by way of their five senses. The bald fact is that nothing about reality is given can be scientifically proven. Matter can be reduced to invisible waves that have no definite location in time and space. The Big Bang created a universe where time and space exist, but there was a pre-created state where no one can verify that time and space existed at all. Because we know body, mind, and brain through experience, they are also part of the dream. At bottom, reality as given has no validity except that it matches our experience. All phenomena in the universe come to us as experiences, and even when reduced to the abstract language of mathematics, experience is how math exists, too. There are no numbers in nature, only our mental model that invented counting and found it useful. The argument for life as a dream arises not from a refusal to accept reality as given, but from confidence that we are all conscious with the capacity to create and then project any version of virtual reality we choose. The trick is to be in touch with your creative source, Otherwise, you fall for your own creation. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.